Drawings for large assemblies can be daunting in both complexity and scope. Luckily, Inventor is equipped with the tools you need to deal with the large volumes of data generated by your large assemblies in an efficient manner. One such tool is the split table command, which is available from within the drawing environment. To begin, on the ribbon, switch to the Annotate tab. On the Table panel, select the Parts List command, and the Parts List dialog box opens. The Select View button is active, so you will need to select the only view in the drawing, View 1. To do so, either select the view in the browser, in the window, or select it from the drop-down list, located below the Select View button, in the Source Group box. In the BOM Settings and Properties group box, from the BOM View drop-down, select Parts Only. Leave the options in the Table Wrapping group alone, and click OK. You will now have a large table connected to your cursor, ready for placement. Move your cursor just below the assembly, and approach the border. The table will snap to the border. Move the table vertically as needed, then click to place it. Zoom out to show the entire table, and you can see that the table is far too large for the space in which it was placed. To fix this, you could wrap the table if there were more room, but there isn't, so you will split the table onto a new sheet. Now, to create the sheet. Right-click the name of the file at the top of the browser, and select New Sheet. Switch back to Sheet 1 by double-clicking it in the browser, then zoom in on the area where the table overlaps the title block. Right-click the line that you would like to be the first line of the split table. In this case, that would be the first line that intrudes into the title block. From the Context menu, select Table, Split Table. You can now drag the new section of the table and position it wherever you wish. Expand Sheet 1 in the browser if it is not expanded already, and then expand the Parts list to reveal the split portion. Select the split portion, and it highlights in the window. The new portion of the parts list could stay on this page if it were desired, but it doesn't fit, so you'll be moving it to Sheet 2. In the browser, select the second portion of the list, then drag and drop it below Sheet 2. You will be taken to Sheet 2, where you will further position the list. Select the list, and when you see the Move Glyph, which is an X made of arrows, drag and snap the list into the upper left corner. Now, zoom into the area where the list overflows the drawing's border. Repeat the splitting of the table by right-clicking in the row that you wish to start a new table portion, and again, choose Table, Split. Position this portion next to the first, and notice that the table needs one more split. Zoom in on the area where the split is needed, and repeat the split and position procedures one last time. Now expand the parts list in both sheets. Notice that the three split portions are present in both browser nodes. Double-clicking any portion will allow editing of that specific portion. Double-click the first list portion and the Parts List Editor will appear. Select the Renumber Items command at the top 
And when the new item numbers appear, outlined in blue, click OK. Zoom in and you will notice the new numbering. Right click on any section of the table and notice that on the table flyout, the unsplit option is now available. Selecting this option will make the table whole again and you would lose any split modifications made. All other modifications made will remain intact. Select Unsplit and the table portions on Sheet 2 disappear, having been recombined with the original table placed on Sheet 1. Switch to Sheet 1, and you can see that the list is whole again. Click Undo until you return to Sheet 2 with the split table portions. The split table command helps you organize vast amounts of information in ways that are more readable to your intended audience, and will help you create neater, more professional-looking drawings.